Hi, my name is Alex Thomas and I'm a medical student from McMaster University doing a sports medicine elective with Dr. Lee. Today we're going to learn about dancer's hip and some stretches and exercises that you can do from home to help treat and prevent the condition. Dancer's hip, also known as snapping hip, is a condition characterized by a snapping sensation caused by motion of muscles and tendons over bony structures around the hip joint. It is most common in athletes and dancers in their teens or 20s. There are three types of dancer's hip with different causes. The first type, external dancer's hip, is caused by the iliotibial tract sliding over the greater trochanter. The second and most common type, internal dancer's hip, is caused by the iliopsoas tendon sliding over bony structures of the hip, including the femoral head, the lesser trochanter, and the iliopectineal eminence. The third type is intraarticular dancer's hip, which is often caused by loose bodies or labral tears. Intraarticular dancer's hip is the least common, but is also the most serious, so it is recommended that you seek advice from a sports medicine physician regarding the treatment of this condition. The following stretches and exercises will help treat and prevent external and internal dancer's hip. First, starting with external dancer's hip. For this condition, you want to address a tight IT band, tight hamstring muscles, and weak glute muscles. Starting with the IT band stretch. Stand on the leg of the affected hip, then cross your other leg in front of it. Then lean away from your affected hip until you feel a stretch. Hold the stretch for 15 seconds and repeat three times. Next, the lying down hamstring stretch. Lie flat on your back with your legs straight. Holding the back of the affected leg for support, lift the leg straight up and toward your body until you feel a stretch at the back of your thigh. Hold the stretch for 15 seconds and repeat three times. Now moving on to a few exercises to help strengthen the hip abductors. First, starting with the clamshell exercise. Using a TheraBand placed just above your knees, lie on your side with your affected leg on top. Keep your feet and knees together and your knees bent. Raise your top knee but keep your feet together. Hold for a couple seconds before slowly lowering your knee back down and repeat this eight to 12 times. If it is painful with the TheraBand, this exercise can also be performed without the added resistance. Next we have the monster wobble exercise to also help strengthen the hip abductors. Start in a standing position with the TheraBand just above your ankles. Begin by lifting one foot off the ground while balancing on the other foot and then slowly returning back to standing position. Do this alternating legs 8 to 12 times. Now moving on to internal dancer's hip. For this we want to address tight hip flexors, tight quadricep muscles, and weak abdominal muscles. In order to do this, we are going to start with the kneeling hip flexor and quad stretch. Kneel on your affected leg and bend your good leg out in front of you with that foot flat on the floor. Keeping your back straight, slowly push your hips forward until you feel a stretch in the upper thigh of your back leg and hip. Next, grab your leg and flex your knee towards your buttocks for a quadricep stretch at the same time. Hold the stretch for 15 seconds and repeat three times. Next, moving on to some core exercises in order to strengthen the lower abdominal muscles. Starting with the bird dog exercise. Start on the floor on your hands and knees. Tighten your abdominal muscles by pulling your belly button in towards your spine. Be sure to continue to breathe normally and do not hold your breath. Slowly raise one leg straight out behind you while raising the opposite arm straight out in front of you. Hold for about six seconds, then lower your leg and arm and switch to the other side. Repeat this eight to 12 times on each leg. Lastly, there's one more core exercise to help strengthen the lower abdominal muscles. Lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Tighten your abdominal muscles by pulling your belly button in towards the spine while ensuring you maintain a neutral spine. Lift one foot off the floor and bring your knee toward your chest so that your knee is straight above your hip and flex to 90 degrees. Lift the other knee up to the same position. Lower one leg at a time back to the starting position. Keep alternating legs until you have lifted each leg 8 to 12 times. 
So just to review, today we learned about Dancer's Hip. We reviewed some of the anatomy, the pathophysiology, as well as some stretches and exercises that you can do from home. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.